Five minutes later, Mamadi Sidibi played in Jarvis and the teenager did the rest. This was a big moment for the little club and an even bigger moment for young Jarvis getting his first goal in senior football. The boys in blue seize their moment. Substitute Matt Jarvis brought three vital points within touching distance. Cardiff were carved open by a swift one-two. Matthew Jarvis scored. Gillingham was staying up and the Welsh club had a tense week to come. With only seven minutes to go, it was Matt Jarvis who scored the winner. Around the hour, the balance tilted. Mark Saunders' long ball, a goal for Matthew Jarvis. Gillingham pulling rank from 76 rungs up the ladder. It all started so well. The Jills made the breakthrough midway through the first half. Darren Byfield's pass setting up Matty Jarvis. And then, just four minutes later, they looked to be heading comfortably for the third round. Neil Harris, this time the provider for Jarvis. In the second half, Gillingham's confidence grew. Port Vale were under pressure with Matthew Jarvis bombing down the left flank. Jarvis found the space he needed to get a shot away and it was 2-0. Another brilliant goal from Gillingham. It's pretty clear Port Vale didn't learn their lesson. With eight minutes left, Jarvis was at it again. Cutting inside and blasting into the net to make it 3-0. This is the kind of performance that could make a massive difference to Gillingham's season. But Gillingham and Matt Jarvis had other ideas. The 19-year-old developing his reputation. In recent weeks, the Jills have not so much eased their relegation fears as blown them out of the water. This, their fourth win in a row. Home fans, though, had to wait until 11 minutes of the second half for the well-deserved breakthrough. And when it came, it was through one of the more established players, and one they really do have to hang on to, Matty Jarvis. Some good passing from the Jills also contributed to their second. Matt Jarvis scored after picking the ball up in his own half and exchanging it with Mark Bentley before slotting home. They didn't cope with Matt Jarvis, and that was clear with the Jills' second. Jarvis clinically getting his third of the season to become the Kent club's top scorer. Easier Rick Penn was unable to stop the lively Jarvis, who has now scored in back-to-back -back games. It got even worse for Orient after the break, and Dumbu and Sungu creating their third goal for Brian Saar. The Londoners were looking in disarray. It was time for the men of Kent to have a little knees up. Newly promoted Cheltenham are finding the going tough at the moment. They'd lost their previous five in League and Cup and soon found themselves trailing at Priestfield. Michael Flynn played in Matthew Jarvis for his fifth goal of the season. Matt Jarvis started a move with Gary Mulligan wide on the right. Mulligan managed to get the ball back to Jarvis and he scored his first goal since September.